Notice problem number four. Another find the equational line through two points. Negative six, negative three, and five comma four. And uh, something tells me this one's going to be a bit messier than problem number three. So let me take a similar approach here. Minus six, minus three. Minus six, minus three, down here. Five comma four. Over five, up four, right around there. So, you know, I am freehanding it. And the slope is going to be positive. It's going to be kind of close to one, maybe, maybe a little bit less than one. The y-intercept is going to be probably positive, but small number. It's going to be a small number. Again, I'm freehanding this. I'm not doing this on graph paper, so I could be a little bit off here in my estimates. But uh, at least you can see that if your slope is negative, or if your y-intercept is way up here or way down there, it has to be wrong. Um, and the other mistake you can make is plotting your points. That's, and you can make mistakes that way too. So be careful in, in plotting your points. All right, well, let's find the slope. And to travel from left to right, I go from minus 3 up to positive 4. So that's 3 plus 4 is 7. I go up 7 units. And I travel from minus 6 over to positive 5. So that's 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 units. So up 7, right 11. And which means my slope is rise over run, 7 11 So the equation of the line starts off y equals 7 11 x plus y intercept b. And, and as is usual, we take one of these pairs of numbers and plug it into, plug it into here. I think I'll go with the positives. So y is 4 equals 7 11 times 5 for x, 5 plus b. And uh, let's see, let's multiply this out. So it's 4 equals to 35 11 plus b. Now 4 is 44 11. So what's my y-intercept? If I subtract 35 11, 44 11 minus 35 11 gives me 9 11 for b. Which is around 1, close to 1. So that looks like it's, it's going to be correct. But my equation line is y equals to 7 11 x plus 9 11. And let me show you that this is not hard to check. Not as hard as it may look, even though there's fractions there. Um, if I plug in minus 6, minus 3, because see I already have common denominators. So if I put negative 6 in here, I've got negative 42 plus 9. Negative 42 plus 9 is negative 33. Negative 33 over 11 is negative 3. That checks. If I plug 5 in for x, I've got 35 plus 9 is 44. 44 over 11 is 4. So even those are not too bad to check because we have common denominators. So that would be answer number D, answer D.